A video of a 91-year-old farmer getting helped into a combine in Kintyre is tugging on the heartstrings of many across the country. The video was shot by his grandson and sent to four people. Now it's made its way into the homes of millions. Daniela Hurtado sat down with them and joins us now to share their story. Danny. Megan, a fourth generation farm in the middle of North Dakota is gaining a lot of popularity because of this sweet video. The spotlight is on 91 year old Tony Bernhardt, a Korean War veteran and a farmer who puts family first. He was stumbling there. My grandpa came or My dad came out of the combine. I was like, this is kind of cool. I just kept going throughout the whole song. And I was like, this is kind of a neat video. Millions seem to think so too, and to the Bernhards, Tony is a pillar for their family. I can have fun with them out there, and, and it seems like they don't mind if I come and help a little bit. A visit from Grandpa is always appreciated by his more than 60 grandchildren and great-grandchildren. When he comes around, it puts a smile on everybody's face. You always wait for that pickup, the white pickup coming down the driveway. His grandsons say some people think Tony may be pushing himself too hard on the farm, but... That's what keeps him going by helping us move. He knows when we're done with the field and need help moving. He's out there moving, driving around, picking us up. But... He may need a push getting up on the combine, but sometimes we all need a little bit of help. I was always crawling in the common. He'd help me up when I was little. Now, roles are reversed. The farm always playing a big part in this family's life. I never left home, except when I got drafted for the military, and I came right back home again, because Dad needed me, you know. And, uh, I didn't have no other place going. But with Tony's age, they don't know when the last time will be the last time. It's going to be a sad day when he doesn't come driving out anymore with the white pickup, you know, coming out and won't be around. You know, that'll be that'll be tough, but we don't look forward to them days. We, we kind of look, stay positive and he drives up and here he is. For now, he'll continue helping out and enjoying being out on the country. Tony says he hopes the family farm continues to go on past the four generations. He says he knows his dad would be proud to see how far his legacy has gone.